So I'm Matt Hatton. I'm a director at Machina Research. We're a specialist research consulting firm looking at machine to machine and the Internet of Things. The presentation I gave this morning at the M2M World Congress was all about the value chain, the M2M value chain, and how uh, different players are doing different things in, in, in that value chain. So what we've got at the moment effectively is a, is a scenario where there's lots and lots of different types of companies all, all, all doing broadly similar stuff or, or attempting to address the same sets of customers. And some of the work that we're doing at the moment is looking at who are the best place companies to really uh, address those opportunities. So for instance, a mobile network operator. What, what channel strategies should they put in place in order to ensure that they're directly addressing the right customers, indirectly addressing uh, the, the, the right customers, and providing a, a sort of a wholesale approach to the, to the long tail. And the same thing applies to uh, M2M service providers, module vendors, and a variety of others who are trying to, to address the market. So uh, that's really what I was talking about um, at, at the event today. I think the next 12 to 24 months is really about maturing well, there's a couple of aspects. One is about maturing. Um, we'll see, uh, I think, a lot more clarification around things to do with regulatory matters. So we're doing a lot of work around M2M regulation at the moment. At the moment, it, it, it's kind of a grey area in a lot of markets. And so we should see some greater clarification, or we would hope to see some greater clarification around things to do with permanent roaming or data sovereignty in a, in a variety of markets. So that's, that's one area uh, in, in this issue of maturing. Uh, another would be around the channels uh, approach the different players take, so not all trying to chase after the same customers, but uh, uh, refining that and being a bit more, a bit more sensible about it. Uh, and, and then there's, there's uh, a, a second uh, strand to what we're expecting to happen in, in, in M2M and IoT over the next 12 to 24 months, which is around more of a horizontalization. Um, Perhaps you could characterize it as a move from machine to machine to the Internet of Things, whereby you get um, less of a, a stovepipe approach solving an individual point solution and much more horizontalized solutions, making it easier for people to develop applications and sort of disaggregating the, the, the uh, device and connectivity from the, from the um, application itself, which is effectively what we would consider to be the Internet of Things. So that, that evolution is, is happening. I think that, that'll, uh, that'll occur. Well, for us, wearables isn't really a category in, in, in its own right. What you're really talking about is a bunch of uh, products and services, applications, devices that uh, perform a variety of different functions but which just happen to be attached to the human body. And they all have uh, completely different uh, functions, completely different purposes. So, uh, you know, something like a Fitbit body bug, you know, the, the sort of healthcare related things perform one function uh, and then there are a range of other devices which might do something completely different related to I don't know, security guards or police and, and, and fire services. So grouping all these things together as one category of wearables I think is not, not wildly helpful um, and, and what we do, we, we look at each of those individual uh, applications, um, we wouldn't cluster them together as, as wearables necessarily but we, we certainly look at them. I, I think Maybe we'll have to come around to the, the, the school of thought that, that people are asking about wearables, so we're going to have to come up with our view on what the, what the wearables market is. But it, it's, um, it's grudgingly, I guess, uh, based on the fact that um, actually there's not that much that, that connects these things. So uh, this is, I think, my third or fourth year of coming to the M2M World Congress. Great event, particularly good for, for networking. You, you um, uh, tend to have the... Uh, all of the great and the good of the, uh, of the M2M world are turning up at these, uh, th th these events, so it's a great one for us, wouldn't miss it.